your favorite certified freak of the week, Janika Jewel, aka the Nomadic Nympho. And to wrap up International Sexual Health Month, I wanted to walk you through the process of getting tested. One of my favorite things to talk about is STI testing, knowing your status and sharing it with partners. So I think that it's really important that you take the time out to take care of your sexual health. So come get tested with me. So me and my lover, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, we've gotten tested before. So pretty much what the process looks like is you pull up to a window and someone asks for your personal information. They ask for your health card. Um, then when you get inside the center, someone reconfirms, reaffirms your information. Tell me what else happens. And then yeah, and then after they do that and they confirm everything and confirm your email and your actual home address, then they, what's it called? Then they tell you to pull forward and then you go to the like actual tester. And then they, uh, um, and then they, um, <laughs> and then they test you. <laughs> so we've been waiting in line for maybe like 20 minutes now. It's pretty busy today, but um, stay tuned. We're still here! <laughs> what time did I tell you guys it was last? We've been in line for 43 minutes! <laughs> Stay with us. I'm upset. <laughs> Minutes in, two minutes out. Tell me, how did you feel? She's lying. <laughs> it's not easy, easy. They go in your nose and then they stretch it here. That <laughs> shit hurts. Hurts. But is that not better than getting COVID? We don't know yet. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know if we got it. We don't know if we have that shit. Anyways, go tested. Go get tested. <laughs> I can't think straight because someone was just joking me. My <laughs> Anyways, go get tested and remember that during these COVID times, your best sexual partner is yourself. I will see you soon. Hey y'all, it is day two. I'm lying. It's been like five days since I got the COVID test, but I got time today, so we're doing the STI one. Um, but I just wanted to check in and have a conversation before because I'm one of those people that loves to lead by example and practice what they preach, which is why I'm taking you on these tests. I wanna dispel the stigma and the notion that getting tested and knowing your sexual health status has to be this really like scary and intimidating process. And I feel like the media just lives off of fear mongering. And I noticed that when COVID first set in, they were saying that STI rates were skyrocketing and all of these STIs that were suppressed years ago are re-emerging and like outlandish rates. And I just kept thinking like a lot of the public health clinics are closed and a lot of these facilities close down their testing centers. So where are they getting these numbers from? And the main thing about STIs is that the most common symptom is that there's no symptoms at all. So if people aren't getting tested and we can't get tested, how are the numbers just appearing out of thin air to be at these crazy augmented rates? Um, so I encourage you to do your research, 
and don't take everything at face value. And that's from me, a sexual educator as well. Like I am not well versed and super educated in every single topic. And that's the beauty of sexual health education. You're constantly learning. So if you have questions or if you are interested in something, do your own research as well. Don't just take it from me because this is what I study. I'm not going to have all the answers. And there's been a plethora of videos I've made where I've had to correct myself in the comments. And that's just the beauty of, of learning, of evolving as people. You make mistakes and you learn from them. So I'm still noticing that a lot of the public health centers and some other STI testing facilities are still closed. Um, so... I'm gonna go through my university and I completely forget that I'm a student sometimes, especially because I'm still online. So I'm gonna call them first to see what their process for STI testing is. And then we're gonna go from there. Health services, how may I help you? Hi, I was just wondering if you're conducting STI testing at the moment. We are, but what happens is it's a phone appointment first. If the doctor deems he needs if he just needs you to do tests like blood work or urine or whatever, he will send the requisition to the lab and you can just come in and do that. Okay. Okay, are you showing symptoms or is it just precautionary? It's just precautionary. Okay, so did you want to book an appointment? Yes, please. Change of plans, there is a walk-in clinic near my house that does STI screenings. So I'm just gonna go there because the appointment they gave me isn't until 2.30 and it's just, I just wanna pee in a cup and get it over with. So, Lego. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> it's my. years ago. So they just asked me like some routine questions and then what's the time where I pee in the cup so let's get it. One hour later. The clinic wasn't that busy, but I know they reduced the amount of doctors that are allowed to be in the facility at a time. It took me an hour and a half from the time I peed to the time I saw a doctor, and then I only saw the doctor for like five minutes. Um, he had a really thick, strong accent. He had a mask on and a face shield, so it was so difficult to understand what he was asking. And they just assumed that I was in a heterosexual relationship, which is fine for me because I am 
I'm a heterosexual female, but for someone that's not, I can understand how that can be such an irritating part of the process because he then proceeded to tell me about all of the birth control methods that are available and talking to me about condom use. That was the only gist I understood, um, but it's done. And then they'll just like call you if they do indeed find something. And then um, if they don't, then you know you're good. So no news is good news. Okay, go ahead. Um, so I was just saying that we're going to try and do the appointment over the phone, uh, but for some conditions I may need to, to refer you to an in-person doctor, okay? Okay. Um, so from what I understand, this is for STI testing? Yes. Sounds great. Okay, sounds good. And if there's any concerns, we'll call you. Sometimes the call is just to tell you you're not immune to Hep B. Okay, so don't worry if, if there is a call. Okay. <laughs> then you just need a booster shot for the hepatitis B. Okay, sounds good. All right, take care. You too. Thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Bye. Um. So earlier today, when I had called my student wellness center they booked me an appointment at 2 30 to speak with um a health professional just to talk about the series of questions that you just heard but i assumed that i would be getting the test like later on in the week so i just drove to the clinic to um get it done faster but i wasn't really satisfied with the quality of care I received at the walk-in clinic today um, just from like the doctor and the questions I was asked so I'm really happy that I didn't cancel this phone call because it seems that they are testing for a lot more STIs than the clinic was the clinic was only testing for two and this one is testing for eight of them um, so I always recommend getting a second opinion and this isn't just with STIs this is with your health in general if you feel like you're receiving inadequate care seek out another service ask a friend do your own research because um, sometimes there is someone out there that's gonna take the extra care to make sure that you're being heard and to supply everything you're looking for um, don't put your health on the back burner or place it into someone else's hands because at the end of the day you are your own advocate not in sexual health just in life uh, but yeah I hope that this video made it a little bit more clear and removed a little bit of the discomfort around getting tested for COVID and STIs it's really super simple and super easy and I hope that everyone does it share your status get tested have great sex set boundaries, have healthy relationships, and always, always remember that getting tested is a form of sexual self-care. That is all for me today, your favorite certified freak of the week. You can follow me on my socials here. Come get connected on Instagram. Have a chat with me on Twitter. Check out my website, which will be in the comments below. I will see you around the globe somewhere. Stay freaky. Bye.